eastern extremity of the state of Pennsylvania, a remarkable construction project is transforming the face of the countryside. The area below will, within the next two years, be the 10th largest city in the state of Pennsylvania, a busy community of 70,000 people living in a city which was completely planned before the first house was built. Today, almost one-fifth of Levittown, Pennsylvania is already completed and occupied. 3,600 families are now making their homes in the new city. Levittown is 65 miles from New York City. It lies just west of the Delaware River, 25 miles northeast of Philadelphia. The new city, which is today springing to life on the banks of the Delaware, was planned by the Levitt brothers, who also built Levittown, Long Island. The younger brother, Alfred Levitt, is the architect, responsible for the overall planning of the new community. When my family began to conceive the city of Levittown in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, we made up our minds not to duplicate one basic era that we find in all the other cities, namely that the individual occupant is lost in its bigness. How we went about it was to plan small sections of the land, put a circumferential drive around it, give it a name that followed some plant, like Magnolia Hill, where mass plantings of magnolias would positively identify a pride in the occupants of Magnolia Hill. The people who will move to Magnolia Hill will co-share a school and a swimming pool and a ballpark. They'll be encouraged to have a ball club that will compete for medals and other arms, and any other club. In this way, we hope that the individual will not be the occupant of a big city, Levitan, but rather a, an individual well known to his neighbors in Magnolia Hill. The building of a house in one day is shown during the next 45 seconds by stop motion photography.
if the newcomer can... quickly becomes accustomed to the quick pace in Levittown. I'll have her stop off for you if you like. Oh, they're always doing things like that around here. It goes on all the time. Did you get all your trees yet? Or is this the first one? The great increase of the number of students has prompted a two-ship day at schools throughout the county. All the schools in this corner of eastern Pennsylvania are overcrowded, and new students are arriving each day. Here, Mrs. Theodore Jack brings her daughter Susan to Worcester School for her first day of class since the family moved to Levittown from Philadelphia. Levittown already has its own police force. Here the patrolman is much more concerned with problems which relate to the rapid growth of the community. Uh -huh. Patrolman Templeton finds that lost dogs and children take up a fair amount of his time. His name is either Levine or Levin. Can you look it up, please? What's your name? Marjorie. We have a Levine, and 11, 78, Shepherd Lane. Well, we'll try it. Okay. That's the way it goes here in Levittown. Lost kids, lost dogs, a few murder violations, but no crime. child ever remains lost in Levittown for very long. Time marches on. <laughs> 